Hello, Molden people. It is so good to see you again. And thank you so much for your faithful prayers and generous and sacrificial support. We think of you and pray for you every day. On 1st of May 2020, laws allowing Victorians, adults or children, to change gender on their birth certificate came into force. This is a deep wound to the heart of young people's identity and allows male predators who change gender access to all private women's spaces. Labor's Attorney General Jill Hennessy said, We've removed an unfair and unnecessary barrier, allowing trans and gender diverse Victorians to finally access a birth certificate that truly reflects who they are. What foolish nonsense. We fought this battle over three years, winning it the first time in December 2016 with a 19 to 19 vote. The deciding vote was one of my local MPs, James Purcell, who came on board after my visit. We then lost the battle when it came up again in the next Labor Parliament last year. Family voice and supporters put up a good fight both times, but in this current Parliament, the numbers make it very difficult for us to win. Despite challenges like this, Diane and I have been having an awesome time during the COVID-19 opportunity. I've been able to have many, many online appointments with leaders around the country. I've established new working groups in the Central Goldfields area, Western Gippsland and Tasmania, while keeping my usual group in Melbourne Central. The Western Gippsland group is comprised of young adults. 365 Life, our spearhead to change the culture in protection of life, now has 250 volunteers in six states, distributing more than 90,000 cards per annum. I'm talking to Catholic people and bishops around the country to develop ways to expand. I'm preaching more often now, have more software and a YouTube channel. Recently, I preached in two denominations on two sides of Melbourne in two churches at the same time. Some messages are going international. One Asian church has booked me five times this year. Ephesians 3.20 Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly more Above all that we would ask or think, according to the power that works in us, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations. God bless you, Molden Baptist Church.